I meant to show you the finished uh, thing. This is it, it was really good. And now it's done. Morning guys, it's Wednesday, my dude. Starting the vlog late this week. Busy start to the week. All great, I'm just about to jump on a meeting in two, two minutes, I should probably get prepared. I feel like we're so crazy busy just now. And I think it's because the world's about to open up. <laughs> I feel like we're kind of like getting ready. Uh, I'm actually useless. I'm going to go and do my meeting and I'll come back and catch you guys up. I wish I'd bought like shares in Zoom at the start of all this. Have you heard there was that story about the like a gardener who invested not that much money. Well, maybe I think it was maybe a couple of thousand pounds or five thousand dollars or something. And now he's a millionaire. I've been spending too much time on TikTok thinking about investing. I don't have a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I've finished my meeting and I am currently tackling my temporary makeup room because I don't think I've ever seen it this bad and I've got something to film and I just cannot think straight so look. This is all the boxes from packing, I've not really unpacked anything but I've had work to do so I've been pulling stuff out randomly and it's just not ideal, it's not ideal. So I'm gonna clear out this, we've got a kind of shelving unit that's in the garage that I'm gonna bring up here so I can organize it a little bit better. It won't be perfect but it'll be usable and we've got a, a press in this room, super old but we cleaned it out, I put some products on there and how cute. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the, but someone's obviously lived here with gel pens and they've drawn knock out on this shelf. They must have wanted this shelf out, but I'm pretty sure that I had this exact gel pen. I'm sure we all did. Smelly gel pens. Who remembers? I've got some kind of equipment down here. I'm going to fill these shelves with whatever I can fit. And there's just a lot of, a lot of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is simplify down further get these shelves up which fit these little boxes perfectly and that will be really good for the time being. Hopefully it's not too long until I'm in my permanent makeup room but I just need to make this work a little bit better. How funny, poo bags coming through again for my lip liners. <laughs> I had loads of clothes that needed hung up and folded which I've done, everything's all right and then I've got some of my boxes that were in, I've put on the shelf and I'm just having a cup of tea and lighting some incense to make it nice. In this house, we have a lot of painted shut windows. It's really common in old houses in Scotland, especially because windows need painted to maintain them, especially we've got sash and case windows everywhere. I th most of them are original, except for this room. There's a refurbished sash and case window, which we can open. So this is one of the only rooms with an open opening window. And it's a beautiful day outside. So I've got the window open, I've got fresh air, I've got my incense, it's very, very chilled in here so that is my little midday plan for a couple hours just to get this squared up to get me prepared for filming and yeah that's it just like I kind of organize and you know I feel like I let things get too far <laughs> since we moved I've not been good at maintaining order I let things get out of control and then I have a moment where I'm like no I need to get on top of this so that is my plan today and it'll just make it so much easier to get on with work I don't know why I let myself get in a mess like this Old Faithful. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, driver. Bye. Bye, Bye driver. It looks worse before it gets better, but it is getting better. And what I'm doing is, I don't have any drawers, so I'm doing like, all my skincare on the top and then hair care and then makeup and I actually think it will fit which is really nice and it means I can see everything super clearly wearing an old t-shirt so I can dust with it.
done. I'm pretty happy, actually. This long shelving unit was my first ever makeup room. I don't know if you remember, but it was those little boxes. I had loads of them and that was my whole collection. So I'm actually pretty chuffed. I've managed to get everything off the floor onto a shelf. It's not completely organized is what I'll say. Most of this stuff is stuff that I really want to try. And then that's most of my collection. And then I'll show you. In here, there's just a lot, like a lot of stuff. And once I've got my drawers and my, my Ikea packs back, I can put it straight into the drawers. It's still organized in here. It just doesn't look like it. It's quite a lot. There's quite a lot going on. But I've managed to clear the floor. I need to do a quick hoover. And then this, I actually think this looks fine. I finally got like perfume out and stuff. And I've actually been desperate to do a face mask, but I, they were packed in boxes. I didn't know where anything was. So at least this way, I know where everything is. Loads of my old favorites, loads of new things for me to try. And it's actually made me feel really like more motivated. It's made me feel a bit more inspired. I'm excited. There's loads of new products that I've not tried yet that, you know, the last month, of the house was a bit crazy and then the first month of this house has just been crazy so I've not got around to trying anything so I think I want to try out a bunch of new stuff when I'm moving out of this makeup room out of this like temporary setup into my proper room I am going to just be so meticulous with cleaning everything putting exactly where it's meant to go you'll see exactly like how I've got the new room set up I'm just so excited for that part but this means that I can work I, you know <laughs> I didn't know where any of my stuff was every time I had to go and pull something out I was making such a mess there was no floor space um and I brought up my plant, oh, he's doing great, doing very, very well. All tidy on my desk, I've got all my lights. Everything's just looking good. Every All the clothes off the floor is definitely so much better than it was. I'm just gonna do a quick hoover and then, and then I'm done. But bloody hell, that took a long time. Look at how cool this is. So this wee bee was up in the attic and I actually thought it was dead and then I saw it crawling about so I brought him downstairs. That's just sugary water and straight away he started eating it. Can you see his wee tongue? I don't think I've ever seen a bee do this so close up before. So we're gonna let him have a wee drink and then put him outside somewhere high up. But I just think this is the coolest thing ever. He's loving the sugary water. This is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. He's got like a wee tongue. Are you shattered? <coughs> He's drunk. Wow, look. Hello, good day to you. Good news, the bee is fine. I saved the bee. Uh, I'm just touching up. I'm just wearing modern matte lipstick and treasure with bark. Such a babe, such a 90s classic. And I'm absolutely delighted with my shirt. All Saints reached out, I posted a picture wearing a top I bought and they reached out and asked if they could repost it on their Instagram, which I was like, uh, yeah. And then um, they gave me a allowance, I could go and pick some clothes. So this is one of, this is my shirt that I got that I am obsessed with. I just love it. So I'm just getting ready or touching up because I have a call in nine minutes. It's a briefing call because on Sunday I am part of a panel for a big day that Glorious Pair doing with Cult Beauty. So it's like a day of events. I am a panelist for growing a beauty business, which I, yeah, it'll be great. It'll be really cool. It's like a free event that they did. Um, actually, by the time that this vlog goes up, it will have just been on. So if you watched it, let me know what you think. I'm a bit nervous. Apart from that, today has been just a good day. We, oh. I got a revised sample for a product that we're working on. It took a long time to get right, but today we did it. We did it. So it's a really good feeling when that happens. Um, and basically, once I have signed off on it's it's this like signed off on the submission, we can go into production. So that happened today uh, for a product that I think you're going to love. I was waiting for it Thursday, so I, I knew it was coming this week, but um, I'm delighted I managed to get that done today. And I'm just so glad it was perfect. It's perfect. And I am just feeling really good. Another great thing, I honestly think this is good karma 
for sorting out my makeup room. Uh, I was finally able to order my IKEA packs for my new makeup room. I was thinking, you know, I did ponder the idea of getting furniture built or getting a custom storage unit built. Um, but see for the see for what I need it for and the price and the fact that we can change it up later on. It's really easy. I've gone with IKEA packs again. I have designed it differently to my last makeup room. Uh, I feel like I learned a lot in my last makeup room. So I managed to order it. A big bunch of it is getting delivered on Saturday, this Saturday. And the rest of it's getting delivered in the middle of May. So I think we're just going to have loads of IKEA boxes somewhere. But it means that by the time May comes round and I get the rest of the stuff, I'll be able to book in to get it built, secured to the wall, and then I'll be able to move into my makeup room. So that's only a month. That's one more month. So I've cleaned up my my section, my area, uh, so I can have a clear head. Like I actually love it in this room now. I can sit here for ages and I can tell when I, I, when I like my space, when I spend a lot of time in it. I mean, that sounds obvious, but I, I hated this room because it's just chaos. You know, you can't get anything done. You can't think straight when it's just chaos around you. But now, see, just even knowing where everything is, I, I'm not looking at a box going, I wonder if what's in that box. I wonder if I need what's in that box. I will say I am excited about when things maybe aren't quite as busy it feels like it's been a bit of a just a crazy time since we moved two more weeks of pretty crazy times and then i think we'll be able to get a breather do you know what i really want to do i really want to book like a week off in summer uh with the hopes of going somewhere in scotland uh just for a holiday maybe not even a week like a long weekend friday to monday me and jack i would just be so buzzing uh, i really hope we get to do that Hi guys, it's Friday. What? Cheers. It's Friday, I just finished work. It was great, I just did a makeup masterclass with Sophia Tilbury, Barry King, uh, for Charlotte Tilbury, it was really great. Very happy that it's the weekend, hence. Mm -mm. And I thought I could show you something I bought. New house things, this is, this is making me really excited though. So, we have a lot of plans. Uh, my dad got me a Swiss Army knife for my Christmas and it's honestly one of the most useful presents ever. Be careful. So we're in a we're in a good place for the house. We've got loads of plans. I'm not gonna show you anything until it is done because it's just gonna be a bit crazy around here. Next week I am actually going to London for work. I've managed this long. Half the week I'm not gonna be here. But the following week we have a really busy week with the house and I just can't wait to show you. Cannot wait to show you. Uh, this is something I bought. Might sound a little bit dull, but I guarantee it is not. Soho Lighting Company, and look how gorgeous! wow. Comes very nicely packaged for what it is. Oh, look at that. Wow, a dimmer. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful. So it's like an antique brass that I got, and I only got enough for the rooms that we need them for right now. There is no point in me spending all that money on switches that I wasn't gonna use. And I want to show you this one other one, toggle switch. That might be it. So we look Are you excited. Very give minimal. it a go, wait, no, give it a, give very, it a go. Very minimal. Oh. oh. That is satisfying. Nice, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that style is so, so cool. Really, really happy with them. So, will they go? Yeah. Of course they will. So I think I got five, five in total. And I just thought, see all these little details, they really make a difference. This is so great, by the way, for anyone that likes plants. This is off of Amazon, right? I had one of these exact things in our old house, but we left it there just because it was like a fixture. And if you remove things like that, you can have more damage to deal with. But it's like a little hook that comes with screws and you screw it in your ceiling and it means that you can hang your, like hanging baskets or your plants. Like we had a couple of plants that would hang off the ceiling and all you need is like a little hook like this. You need some roll plugs to make sure that the screws don't just fall out, but really great. Uh, I'll link it in case you want one, but the room that I loved this in, in the old house was our bathroom. I had one in the ceiling of our bathroom and see just because of the moisture in a bathroom, plants love it. Like we had a fern in there and it loved it so much. So that's what I've been buying. I'm gonna go, I've got a couple more things to do tonight, but tomorrow me and Jack are going on a day trip. We are allowed out of our council areas, which is a somewhat new thing. I think it happened last week. So we're going, no, it happened on Friday. Oh my God, it's today. 
So we're going to drive to one of my favourite places, St Andrews. It's about a two and a half hour drive. Yeah, I just can't wait. So I'm going to go, I'm going to enjoy my beverage. I heard Jack say something about sushi because we have to pizza and I'm still a bit hungry if I'm honest. So there's that. Morning. Time to do a really quick makeup. I have started using this La Roche-Posay Tolerain Ultra 8 Daily Soothing Hydrating Concentrate. So you know they always say that you're meant to put hyaluronic acid on damp skin. This is my new favourite way to get that damp skin. But this makes your skin so hydrated. I've only used it for the last like three days, but I think it looks quite good. I'm going to use the Dior Capture Youth Glow Booster Serum. I've had this ready to try for a while and I just found it this week when I was cleaning out. I've ran out of my hyaluronic acid, so this is gonna do that job for me. Nice. I used my U-Tan tanning water last night, which is why my skin's got a nice tan to it. You can see compared to my hand. Uh, and then I'm gonna use the Hyaluronic <laughs> I wish I could say these things right. I'm going to use the Aqua Gel SPF 30 from La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay do one of my favourite SPFs of all time, the Antelios. I've spoken about it loads of times. I actually use that. I use that non stop for a while. But this I'm intrigued by because it's a gel. So look, and I'm going to take plenty of that. Oh, nice. I'm going to do my neck because we're going to the beach today. It's really fun that we can leave our council area now. St Andrews was about an hour and 15 minutes drive from where I grew up. So we went there all the time, all the time. And it was just one of my favourite places ever. Um, when I was growing up, me and my family would hire a, like a kind of house um, that would have fit us all. I think we went like th two or three times and it was so fun. It was so special. It was right on the beach. It was called the Ice Barn and I've got so many great memories from there. So whenever we go to St Andrews, it makes me super happy. I'm just putting on a nice hydrating glowy primer. And because I'm going to be out today, we're going to do like a fair bit of walking, I think. It's meant to be sunny. It'll probably still be cold. So I'm just going to do like an everyday glowy makeup like I actually might just put brows on some mascara a little bit of coverage look at that skin so nice okay a little bit of setting spray to start just using all my hair gonna let that dry down let's see what I'm gonna use Hollywood flawless filter 4.5 mm. another thing that's a little bit sad this week our good friends, Sheila and Les, got married yesterday. Uh, they got married in Mexico. It looked amazing. And me and Jack were meant to be there. We were meant to be there and we only, I think, what time was it? I think it was maybe February. We were like, oh, we're not gonna get to go. So we've got a case of the FOMO, uh, but it looked amazing and I just know that they're gonna be so happy and I've had the best time. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, concealer. I'm gonna use NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is the shade Sucre d'Orge. So it looks quite like yellow, but for me and cancelling these dark circles out, it works wonders. And I'm just gonna add a wee bit of coverage in the center of my face. There we go, just under the eyes. I'm using Ginger now, which is my usual shade, but you can see it's just a tiny bit too bright for me at the moment. You can see that's doing exactly what I needed to under my eyes. I <laughs> remember when that concealer was so popular, it still is really popular, but it was the shade Custard and everyone wore it. Everyone wore it, no matter what your skin tone was, people were buying Custard because they thought Custard was the one. Uh, I was one of them. Ginger for me is the best. And then a little bit of that. Hi bud, hi big dog. Are you okay my big friend? I think I might do a little liner and mascara today. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, blush, blush. I'm gonna take a huge brush. I used to use this brush all the time. Morphe M402, really fluffy. And I'm gonna go in with a touch of blush. And if you ever feel like you've got too much on your brush, just tap it off in your hand. And I'm gonna use that in a really big diffused way. And because of the, tone, I'm using Piazza, I always use Piazza. See when I'm doing a makeup like this, and the sun's out and I just want that wee bit of warmth. It's perfect. Also, I don't, like, I, my makeup does not look heavy at all because I don't, I really don't have that much on. So when you use the Sunset Blush, it just looks so diffused. It's really, it's really quite sheer. I'm going to use my Brat Lip Liner, which I really need another one. 
isn't this oh, it's such a good like everyday makeup if you're doing your lips and you want a little bit more definition just go in with a slightly darker lip liner just for you want it so i'm just gonna do the cupid's full like so and then use your other lip liner just to blend that out i've been using two lip liners to do my lips constantly it's my new favorite thing and the modern lip definers they're made to be super long lasting but they're really good for overdrawing really good for overdrawing your lips if if you want to it just makes your lips look so pillowy if you've not tried this yet try it because it is it's so nice like look at that color and it just looks like my lips it doesn't look like i've overdrawn them i've got quite uneven lips and um, usually i go and i get it corrected by laura miller who does my kind of injectables obviously i'm not i can't remember the last time i had anything done everything's everything's gone like all my botox is gone as well but my lips she usually evens me out so i i do that with lip liner but i do actually find it quite difficult on myself i'm going to do the same trick under my lip use a slightly darker lip liner and then blend that in okay i'm going to use a bit of lip balm uh la roche posay cesoplast can you tell that i got a nice pr box with the la roche posay in it this lip balm i think it's the best lip balm i've ever used it is so good i've only been using it for the last few nights uh, however long I've been using the spray, but man alive, it just works. And this lip balm, it's nice because it's not too glossy. Isn't that nice? Right, I might use a wee bit of bronzer. And I'm watching a film. Do you remember the film 13? It's because of TikTok. TikTok used the sound. There, there was a, like a sound from the film used in loads of TikToks and I listened to it and I was like, I really remember that from somewhere. And I remembered it was this film and I'm watching it and it's making me nothing but panicked for the day if we ever have a teenager. Is that just showing my age? Like I am, I mean, we just all know what teenagers get up to and it makes me feel quite sick. The idea of having my own teenager. <laughs> oh, worry, 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 worry. I'm just using my Freck Noir to get my little freckle. And I mean, you could do more. I'm actually quite happy with my skin the way it is just now. I might just slightly deepen up the ones on my cheeks. Pop a little bit of powder on, I've got a new, Charlotte Tilbury airbrush full is finished. It's just the best. It's so good, this powder. I don't think we'll have to wear masks too much today because we'll be outside mostly and in the car and going for walks. But when you go to St Andrews, you need to get a chippy. Let that dry. And this is my little hack. I'm going to use all nighter, let that dry, and then one last little bit of powder. And that's everything locked in. It's all about the layers. Just went and checked myself out in the other mirror, and I actually really like this makeup. Um, I brought a product through to show you. I used this last night. So I'm recently back to blonde. I'm really trying to look after my hair. Blonde hair, bl unless you're a natural blonde, bleaching your hair is always going to cause a little bit of damage but you can do loads of things to protect your hair and, and and save it so first thing i would say is heat protector make sure you use heat protector before you do any kind of styling if you're doing any styling next i would say um treatments make sure you're using treatment masks um i really want to try olaplex again uh, i've got a couple of shampoos and conditioners that are that are all about repairing the hair and also the color so i think my color looks really nice and i think it's because of this i used the i love davines i use davines a lot on my hair but this is their new heart of glass silkening shampoo so it's enhancing shampoo for blondes and then rich conditioner which is a fortifying enhancing conditioner for blondes so it's one of it's those products that have a kind of slight purple hue to them i didn't like leave it on for a long time but i do think that my blonde looks really fresh i mean it is fresh but like these front pieces look Good. they look healthy enough yeah really happy there's a lot to be said see i feel like i've not been playing with makeup enough lately and it starts to not get me down but i almost like get annoyed with myself because that's what i so love to do like sit down and watch something and, and play with makeup and i've just been a wee bit too busy to do that so i think next week i'm gonna just make sure that i schedule in some time to do exactly that so i'm gonna get changed i think i'm gonna wear shorts i don't know actually Let's get changed. Maybe I'll wear like big denim shorts and layer on top. Let's see. I cannot remember the last time I wore shorts. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're like, oh, like long enough, if that makes sense. I really didn't want any like, like booty shorts. And I think I'll wear socks and boots. So my feet are warm. My legs are out getting a little bit of sun. These are from Girlfriend. They're actually a bit big. Shorts and a jumper. I might change my hoops. I want big hoops. And then underneath this, I have a top. So if it gets really hot, which it won't, 
Then I can turn it off, but I'm going to tuck the front of my jumper in. Yep, great. When was the last time you had a McDonald's breakfast? Do you know, I don't, I can't remember when the last time was, but what I was just thinking about was after the wedding. Yeah. After the wedding, we got home, we flew home to Prestwick Airport, and that's kind of like, it's not in Glasgow, it's kind of out of the way. And we got a McDonald's breakfast on the way home, and we were so happy, weren't we? Mm hmm. I'm so happy to see I'm you. happy now too. I am happy now too. That, that sounded like, oh, <laughs> those are the days, and now I'm miserable. This is Jack and Jamie's day of fun. It started, we're just getting a McDonald's breakfast to see us through because the drive is it's like an hour and 20 minutes to get to the first stop. Give me my breakfast. Thank you. That's brilliant, thanks. See you later. Ooh. I have started using this a lot, lot blah, starting the, blah, starting the dog, uh, start what? I've got pizza in my teeth. One of the, oh god, oh god. There is a refurbished sash, sash, there's a refurbished sash, sh, oh my god, I can't say that. Wow, she's nude. No. <laughs> What? <laughs> is it palettes? Eyeshadow palettes. I was trying to bring up palettes that he brought up. Actually, These are wooden palettes? That's a wooden box. Long shelfing unit. Shelfing? Shelfing? I need my bed. I'm vlogging, Jack. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. I look like a member of Hansen. No.